Is high quality software worth the cost? As with many things in life, there's a trade-off between quality and price. But this is the same with software. In this video, I'm gonna explain why high quality software is worth it, and some things in software that shows that it's high quality, and other things that are harder to see. I'm Matt Grace, Managing Director of Flying Donkey. Let's get into it. Before we answer this question, we have to understand what is quality. In software, we're gonna define these as three key characteristics. Firstly, the user interface. Secondly, the functionality of the software. And thirdly, but most importantly, how easy is additional functionality to add to the piece of software? The first two options here are gonna be relatively easy for the end user to see and are slightly less important than the third one, which is actually very hard for an end user to work out. And I'm gonna explain why the last point and how to add additional pieces of software is the most important part to determine about what is high quality software and why it is so important to have high quality software. User interface. This one's pretty straightforward. The user interface is what you use to interface with the software itself. This is the thing you either see on your tablet, on your desktop, on your laptop, or wherever you interface with a piece of software. Generally, positive feedback from users and customers is what's gonna let you know whether you have high quality software. This is the easiest piece to see and generally the easiest piece to judge about whether you've got a piece of high quality software. Secondly, functionality. So functionality is really gonna be broken down into two areas. Firstly, does your business have to adapt to the software or does the software adapt to your business? Retraining users on new software takes considerable time and money. And if your software adapts to what your users are used to, this also potentially means that you're not gonna to have to change any business processes and therefore your business is gonna operate as it always was. At the same time, you want these processes to operate very efficiently. So how fast does software operate? Does it slow you down through the day? And what's the user interface turnaround time for these pieces of functionality? These are very easy and key things that someone can use and someone can see about how well a piece of software is. I'm sure we've always seen this before. You go and try and use a piece of software and it's very hard to understand. You don't know how it's working. And when you click on something, it just takes too long to load. These are obviously indications of a poorly designed piece of software. Keeping this in mind, we now have two key things. How does the user interface look? And how does the functionality work on a piece of software? And and that's gonna tell you how high quality the piece of software is, but it's not the most important point. And this moves you on to point three. How easy is it to add additional features to the software? Adding additional features to a piece of software becomes critical. As your business changes over time, you're always gonna be doing more and more processes. Compliance things come in, extra services and items come to you, and it's gonna be how well this software adopts and changes that it's gonna really make sure how well this piece of software is built. Now, if a piece of software was built in what we call spaghetti code, where it's hung together and all over the place, essentially what you're have to do is untangle that spaghetti code before you can even add any new features and this can take considerable amount of time at the same time mains of this system is going to be very difficult because if something breaks someone's going to have to go in and understand all of this really bad code in a high quality system every component is segregated out and there are clear lines of definition between how the software works. That means if you come along and you're gonna add a new feature, a nice cleanly structured piece of software is gonna be far easier than one that's put together like spaghetti code. Now this is the single most determinant piece on whether high quality software is worth it. And this is where the answer is an easy yes. In my experience, it gets to the point with old legacy systems that are written so poorly that it takes such a significant amount of time to add a new piece of software or a new feature that you simply have to throw that software away. Trying to get justification for 100 days of work to add a very small feature that really only takes five days of coding, the ROI on that piece is just not there. And this is where high quality software really starts paying for itself. It's worth paying that little bit more upfront and getting that software built correctly so that it can last you into the future. As you can see, having high quality software is obviously an easy thing to do. It's generally hard to understand, so look for the first two pieces that we talked about. How does your UI look and how does the software function? And then when you're looking at it, try and get a software developer that you trust to have a look at the code and tell you whether the code is written in such a way that it can be extended on in the future. If you need any help with any of your software projects, feel free to reach out and have a chat.